one of the dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Wow, I was looking at the beautiful scenery up ahead. I have to tell you, gorgeous scenery and gorgeous like 360 degree vistas everywhere. Clouds, and blue sky, and beautiful mountains and desert plants everywhere. Very uncomplicated. <laughs> and I was listening to an astral story regarding the first cartoon characters when television was invented. I was, I was, in my terms, I was ancient when that happened, when TV was invented in the first um, cartoons came out. And uh, of course, I wasn't that old, but it, it felt like I was old at that time. I felt I was very grown up. And the television came out and you could barely see anything. There was no reception, there was no cable. And just barely, the very first thing I saw was an animated, very short cartoon of Donald Duck, who didn't look at all like he did today. It was the very first cartoon I saw. And uh, so I was just chatting on the in the Claire stories, I was chatting about um, how I guess when they discovered the idea of animated cartoons, they may have done so because prior to that, there were little books that had uh, graduated pictures of movement in them. So you could flip through the pages of the book and look, and it would look like somebody walking along because each page had like a graduated image, kind of like as if you were viewing somebody walking. And the mind filled in the gaps, right? Between the various pages, like one page might have a person standing still, and the next page might have the person putting one foot forward. And then the next page might have the person lifting up the other knee, and the next page might have him putting the other foot down. And when you flipped him, it looked like he was walking, right? And I was thinking that this illusion that we have right now in the hologram, in our personal hologram, might be like that. You know, there's a story of Lord Shiva in India and how he is the, the destroyer of the illusion, right? And the transformer of the illusion. So Lord Shiva might be like the gaps between the pages in the comic book. Right, and um, suppose Lord Brahma, you know, there are three. There's Lord Brahma, the creator, Lord Vishnu, the preserver, and Lord Shiva, the destroyer or transformer. In India, it's called the Trimurti, right? So suppose they were the creators of the, and sustainers and destroyers of the illusion week that teaches us our soul lessons. Right? So now to get back to this, suppose the, the cause of the gaps between the pages in the illusion of Maya was Lord um, Shiva, right? And suppose the cause of the pages were, were Lord, uh, was Lord Brahma, the creator. And suppose the, the, um, the power that allows us to believe that it's that the pages and the gaps are all one continuous astral or physical story is the power of Lord Vishnu. Wouldn't that be cool? The dreamer, Lord Vish Vishnu, the dreamer of the cosmos. So, uh, what if we had the ability to see the pages, the gaps between the pages, and the illusion. Wow. <laughs> so. <laughs>